Cheers and welcome my friends to Let's Try Expeditions Viking. I'm Hradrak and we are in the middle of a Northman raid. Um, Northmen are Norwegians. Um, I'm not sure how we know that they are Northmen. But what I noticed uh, when I looked at the last episode is that I forgot to loot one guy over here. Oh yeah, and it was really worth it. <laughs> That's a hundred valuables um, more than we would have th would have had otherwise still disappointed that this guy didn't have anything well we managed to defend um the southern part of our of our village now we gotta go and help us lifer in the northern part i wonder what wonder what actually happens if you don't have us lifer if you don't manage to convert him oh, let's take that stuff why not i'm, I'm fine with it um, all the other stuff most of the stuff i already looted just so um, it doesn't bog down the the pace of the game, because I am I'm a mighty looter in this game. Uh, in these games, I really like to loot stuff. Um, okay, looks like we're engaged in a fight already. There's Helmfrider Kraxon. Um, no picture, but looks like a capable fighter. What are you? A brawler. Um, looks like you're using two axes, and you sort of do have just melee attacks okay that's fine and the shield hook that's good there's us lifer um our banner man experienced banner man standing in the front line what do we have what are we dealing with five attackers on this side only five no six six attackers just like in the south so two four six what do we have we have holmbjorn darkfinson a banner man just like us lifer a warrior, a skald, uh, who's a healer, and a hunter, another healer, and a brawler as well. Okay, well, we should be able to do with them. They got one guy with a shield. All the other guys are shieldless, and this warrior doesn't seem to have an um, um, offhand weapon, which is weird. I would, I would have donned the shield if I were him, but oh well. And who else do we have? We have Siegfried, or Sigrid, Sigrid, who is the huntress of the village, so that's good. Um, let's bring her up one. So she's in, in cover, and I think what we want to do... I think we want to... I think we want to shoot um, to mark all these guys, so... Yeah, now they're all spotted. Which should help our other archers. Now, Helmfrieder. These are all cover spots. How far can I get? I can get pretty far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my guy up, up, up here into the cover. Um, we're gonna bring you up into the cover as well. We're gonna bring up. The ready only takes the attack action, so that's fine. Let's get ready. Um, and then we have our shield maiden, who's standing back. Would be nice if I could have the um, ready action with her. Um, it's not looking like it's gonna happen though. Um, maybe I should have moved him to the right hand side. But oh well, we're gonna bring her in front of the um, of the Huntress, just to, to give her some defense. And, well, actually, we might have still moved him over. Might have still done that. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. And then we got Cattle, who we're gonna bring up. Maybe I can deliver a an aimed shot. No, I can't. Well, then we're just gonna use this turn to, to get into position. Bring you over here. Let's see how it goes. Uh, you're not doing much. You don't have the ready action either. So that's a shame. She's kind of wasted as a as a frontline person, but what can you do? I mean, I could just bring my guy over. Yeah, let's do it. I got a shield. Why not? I'm gonna take point here, and then we're gonna bring you over here. So no one should be able to to get at her, I think. I don't think, because he's going to attack them. I don't have an oppo... No, no, yeah, I still have the attack of opportunity. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's end the turn. Nothing much is going to happen. They're going to come at us. 
Okay, he's gonna get it. Yeah, that's what you get for running at us. And he's not going to attack because that took all his actions. The healer is gonna shoot. And only harried our shield maiden. That's fine, we can live with that. And there's the hunter who should be a better shot. Yeah, they they hit her. They hit our shield maiden. Shame. Um, there's the bannerman coming at us. And there's the warrior with his sword. Only sword, no board. And there's the skald. I think that's the skald. Yeah, pretty sure. And Aslifer blocked the shot. Very well. That could have gone way worse. That could have gone way worse. I really like it. Makes me very happy. Now, what should we do? This guy has 130 hit points. Holy crap. That's some some sturdy guy. Um, he doesn't have a shield, though. I could try to stun him, but I think I might just go for the... Oh, he doesn't have the heavy attack yet. Okay, then I could restore the shield, uh, which is the blue bar above him. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go for it here. Yeah, let's just go for it. And I think what I'm going to try and do is... I think I'll try to pick off their their healers. So they, they can't do too much healing up. Zero chance to hit. Can't hit any of these guys, it would have would seem. Yeah, it worked though. Fine. That makes me happy. And then we've got Cat Hill, who I think might be able to finish that guy off. So that would be one of them gone already. Just like that. Goodbye. And then we got him. Can deliver some severe damage. That looks good. What can you do? Oh, oh man, I should have done the exposed first. Well, he doesn't have a shield, so it doesn't really matter. Um, engaging one of these guys would be a good idea. Let's just bring you, bring myself up here. And I mean, I could just stab this guy to death with her. Let's do it. Let's just hope that she doesn't get more attacks here. Okay, does that does it. And this guy doesn't have a shield either, so I'm just gonna go for the heavy swing. And let's try to pull off a crit. Nope, didn't work, but oh well. He does have a fairly heavy damage reduction. He's only taking a quarter of the um, damage here. And now we got you. And I think I might just run up and hit you with this guy. Yeah, that sounds exactly like what we should do. I mean, we're not going to gain anything when he's just standing back. Hit him. Yes, he needs that. He likes it rough. Okay, let's end the turn. <laughs> and he's like, hey, come at me. <laughs> One of the healers is already down. I really like it. Okay, that hit us, Lifer. But we should be able to withstand a good amount of attacks. He's healing that guy, though. You bastard. Stop that. Got to pick off the other healer now. And he's flanked. Um, flanking is not good. I don't like it. <laughs> um, now, what do we do? What do we do? A couple of options. Could try to take this guy out. The annoying thing is that that one um, is heating them up. So I think... Well... I can bring up Aslifer and attack the guy. Could also try to stun one of these just to take away their damage dealing capabilities um, I do have the aim shot hmm sort of do have to concentrate over here and I can't really have this guy flank me what I'm trying to do is we're gonna go after this guy and we're gonna hope this will be enough to remove him. Um, I think we're going to need her to go after this one. Um, if you were to do a quick shot, how's your how's your chance? Zero chance to hit. 60% chance to hit. That guy has 50. But a 60% chance to hit would mean that we might potentially be able to finish this guy. Let's do it. 
Oh, and he blocked it. You nasty bugger. You nasty bugger. Let's try it again. Ah, we didn't hit that one at all. Okay, that was crap. Um, the quick shot, it's, it's really a double-edged sword. <laughs> well, let's try to take that one out now. With the shot. Uh, we're not going to give him any chance to recuperate here. Okay, yeah, you're gone. And I might have to pull out Helmfrieder here. I mean, they only have one archer. If we concentrate on this guy, we might be fine. He does have a lot of a lot of hit points. Although it looks like they went down. He doesn't have 130 anymore. I could also go just uh, kick that guy back. Kick that moves the target one hex away. Which would sort of allow me to um, use Thorgrim to attack that guy over there and sort of corner him to the side. But it doesn't do any damage. Oh well, yeah, it does a little bit of damage. Rebuke. Mm, what damage would we do otherwise? 28 to 32. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I mean, we're not in a desperate situation. Whoa. <laughs> okay, yeah, some of the animations are not yet in, so I guess that's one of those that is not in. If I move past him, he ha he's gonna have an attack of opportunity. On the other hand, I can take a little bit of damage if it means taking that guy out. This takes an attack action. Which doesn't make me too happy. Um, he does have cover. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the, um, the opportunity attack. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't do one. Interesting, okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with it. And this guy is flanked. I should have actually stabbed him in the back. I didn't know that move was possible. Oh well. Let's end the turn. I'm still learning. I'm still learning this game. Can't do everything perfectly here. Uh, he's attacking me, which is a good which is good news for Helmfrieder. This guy is attacking me. Um, it's not looking too great, but we're sort of flanking him, so he's going to take a lot more damage now. Um, do this. Okay, that should hurt quite a bit. And then do this. And then we... I think we're going to finish him with me. Okay, goodbye. And you? We might actually pull you out of there. I'm not sure if you're going to survive another attack. Guy does a fair bit of damage. You don't have too much damage reduction, which I don't like. Um, I'm not going to use the quick shot. <laughs> it's just not worth it. <laughs> it always comes back to bite me in the ass. Ooh, critical hit. Nice one. So that means actually that he might be able to finish him. Ah, uh, not quite. Uh, let me let me use the other archer. Let's just use a normal attack here. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, that's it for you. And then we can move up. And we can kick this guy with a heavier punch. Now oh, that's gonna take the full action, so I need to stand right next to him, I think. And well, maybe not. What are we expecting? 32 to 32. Uh, what's with the weapon? 35 to 40. Okay. Yeah, I guess fighting with an axe instead of your bare hands is the better option. Looks fine. Looks fine to me. Let's go. Yeah, eat that axe. Axe to the face. Okay, yeah, you can hit back, but you're only gonna do five damage. <laughs> These archers aren't very good in melee. Um, I don't have a healer yet. Uh, let's just let's just remove you. Goodbye. Yeah, that's how it goes. No injuries in this fight. Very good. 
I like it. As the last attacker goes down, a sudden calm falls over your immediate surroundings, which almost makes the battle seem like a distant thing. Aslifer's voice shakes you out of it. I'm glad you got here in time. These bastards are tough, well equipped too. Ours is not the first village they've attacked. Torfin the carpenter appears from between two houses, his apron encrusted with soot and grime. He sounds short of breath. Oh, my dear boy, I'm so glad you're alive. <laughs> you gotta love the guy. You gotta love the guy. <laughs> this is so cool, this portrait. You you really wish that um, your grandpa would, would look like that, or your, your uncle or someone. He looks adorable. <laughs> my grandpa actually looked a bit like him. Bit of a shorter beard, and... Uh, his beard was mainly grey, <laughs> at least as long as I can remember, but <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> uh, okay. The raider's leader is headed towards the longhouse. He snuck another group around the village and got in from the east. Okay, that's not good. So we gotta defeat Gunnar in front of the longhouse. I've got Aslifer back. Very good, I like it. Um, let's just let's just loot these guys. Um, take all they have. They won't need it anymore, I don't think. Let's take some valuables over here. Uh, most of them are. Ooh, very nice. A ring mail. Forty percent damage reduction. Uh, a lot of damage reduction for range, but two movement penalty. I'm gonna take it though. I I appreciate it. Everything that makes my guy more durable is very much appreciated. Uh, what do you have? Cloth armor. Yeah, this this has been a great haul. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a quick save here. Um, I guess I'm still fatigued. I guess I'm still fatigued because I've been um, woken up in the middle of the night um, during the raid. So I guess it's it's quite natural that we're fatigued. Nothing out here that I that I can loot. This guy, someone should someone should relieve him of his pain. I would do it myself, but oh well. Um, let's put on the ring mail. So this this thing has 12 damage reduction and 4 damage uh, reduction ranged, which is not very good. <laughs> I mean, it's good for a for a light armor uh, compared to this one, the cloth armor. Uh, it's it's pretty nice. Um, the range reduction isn't great though. 4%. This one does have 6%. Let's go for the for the male here. Can I equip any one of the others? Yours has eight and four. Um, I'm gonna give you that one. That's just a straight upgrade to what you have, my boy. So have that one. That's a single-edged sword, three to ten damage. And what does mine do? Seven to fourteen. Okay, yeah, I dig it. Um, kettle. Cloth armor four and six, and this one does six and six. Um, so have that one. That's gonna be better for you. Um, and then we do have the willow bow, which is doing six to twelve on you. What's mine doing? Ten to sixteen. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta um, give the bow, give my old bow to Kettle. I'm sure he won't betray me uh, with it, so he can he can have it. We don't need a second weapon. We are already blind as a bat, so. <laughs> How's your perception? Yeah, yours is is better than mine. I gotta say. Mm, his perception is great. Ten perception. He's really outstanding. Eagle-eyed. Um, I mean, I got the willow bow. She already has a bow. I mean, I could give him a bow. I'm I'm gonna take the bow. Oh well, doesn't really hurt me. Could also go with the torch though. Makes it easy to hit adjacent enemies. Target flammable objects to start a fire. So we can use the environment, which is pretty cool. Uh, what's what's your thing doing? Six and six. So that's that's about the standard here. Yeah, that that upgraded my people really nicely. So let's just gonna go for a for a completely new save. Don't want to lose this. How do I look now? Yeah, much better. I mean, I would still like to get a helm. Uh, helmet at some point um, just to save my pretty face <laughs> but for now this has to do so um, we've got to get back to the longhouse and quickly I guess yeah defeat gunner in the front of uh, in front of the longhouse you know that's that's one too early 
Still got him getting my bearings here. That should be the right one. Ah, not quite. One more. One more. So, let's do this. You're halted in your tracks by an apparition. Outside your longhouse stands a man who almost defies description. He's a giant. His fur-lined shirt is barely capable of confining his bulging muscles. He's holding a weapon in each hand, and his stance calls to mind a bull in heat. <laughs> He's called Gonna the Peaceful. <laughs> By far his most outstanding feature, however, is his beard. It's the sort of beard you might expect to find adorning the face of a Jotun. Um, giants in the um, Norse mythology. It looks like a bear crawled onto his skin, uh, chin and died. <laughs> I like it. That's the look we're all going for. <laughs> the giant's attention is not on you. Two of his raiders appear out of your longhouse, each carrying a large sack. Of what you must assume to be your possessions. Well... Uh, Rosbjorn. Just an old woman and a weakling. They offered no resistance. <laughs> that sounds not too promising. Giant frowns. I trust you didn't harm them. Uh, Wilfrider. Not a hair of place on either of their heads, Gunnar. Just as you said. Um... I don't think the time for words is over. Let's just attack. <laughs> We're not gonna talk with these guys whilst they whilst they carry my my stuff out of my home. So this is Gunnar, the peaceful. Um, 112 hit points, 69 to 75 damage, which is a lot. Um, let's just get up to him and kick him in the nuts. So we're, got, we're expecting 33 to 39 damage from this. What's with the heavy swing? Higher crit chance, nothing else. Right? Yeah, okay. And he can't block. Ah, oh, well, he has a 52% block chance with this, too. I can't really risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. Most of the risks I've taken so far with the, with the quick shots and all haven't really paid off too much. So he's, he took 37 damage. That's not inconsiderable. Oh, did you slip? Did you slip? Uh, I managed to keep my footing. Nephia slipped though and was knocked down. Um, could have chosen a better time to do this, my dear. You might have. Just saying. Just saying. You might have. Um, I really gotta take him out. What's with the quick shot? Doing it every time. No, I'm not gonna do it. Let's go for the aimed shot. 95% chance to hit. Come on, a crit hit would be nice. Come on. Yes. Okay, 55. He's nearly down. He's nearly down. What can you do? Um, can you finish him, Aslifer? Can you finish him? Yes, you can. Go right for the eyes. Yes. Odin! Is it time? <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> that was quick. And kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Activated quick shot. Yeah, he's doing he's doing it right. Just a uh, point blank range. Which is I think how this should be used. So he's he's coming at me as well. Horosbjorn. Holy crap, that guy hits hard. Uh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Um I don't really want to move my archer because he might slip on this ice as well. So let's just go for this one. Let's try to do as much damage as we can. Oh, damn you. Stupid shield. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Well done. Well done. Um, let's go for it. Hmm... Should I go for him or should I go for the other guy? Well, my guy really doesn't have a uh, say in this. I'm gonna do this and yeah, we could knock him out and at the same time sort of block the archer from shooting. Come on, make me proud, Aslifer. Yes, he's down. Nice. I like it. Okay, he's stabbing with his spear. Um, not the most practical weapon for an archer, the pike. I mean, it doesn't really matter in this game, I guess. Mm, 
would like to go around him. And I can do that without taking an attack of opportunity. Let's just get over here with her. So he's flanked now. He's flanked from all sides. So let's do a triple. Let's go with her. Uh, it, should be, it should allow me to actually take him out. He's reeling. Yeah, he's reeling. And he's gonna go down. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that went well. No new injuries. I'm really happy. Gunnar fights with the strength of three men, but eventually he falls, as all men do. While you pause to catch your breath, the giant pulls himself up onto his knees. His voice booms despite his injuries. Well, that was rousing. It's been a very, very long time since I met anyone who could match me in battle. He shakes his head and grins. I did not expect to find such strong warriors here in this tiny village. I thought you unprotected. I see that I was wrong. Okay. I know how to recognize when I'm beaten. I surrender. Kettle places a hand on your shoulder. We shouldn't kill him, at least not yet. We might be able to get something useful out of him when the dust has settled. Find a safe place and lock him up and don't leave him unattended. Kettle fetches a few more of your clansmen and they tie Gunnar up with enough knots to pacify a frenzied bull. The huge man makes no effort to resist as they take him away. Okay, I like it. That went really well. Just gonna check on our um, brother and mother here. After we've looted these guys, of course. <laughs> Ooh, another willow bow. Very good. I like it. Let's take it. Thanks. That's good. So we're actually having fairly good drops here. And a birch bow. Great. Thanks. Thanks. I take it. Oh, he just died. Looks like. I think he just died. So they are struggling to stay alive. I wonder if you could take them as slaves or something. I guess that mechanic isn't implemented. I hope that I hope that there is. The only other role-playing game that I've really seen in all the years that allow you to change between knocking another person out and really kidding them is Gothic, a German um, RPG from the 2000s where you first beat the other guy and then you have to make you have to consciously make the decision of um, killing them and then your character sort of um, starts a really gruesome finisher where he takes his sword and sort of puts it in, 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 in the gut of the other person and moves it around which really hammers home the craziness of what you're doing killing another person um, I really like it let's just check on our let's just check on our mother here um, yeah, when you hurt men become incapac incapacitated, the longer they stay down, the higher the chance for injury. Let's say what our mother has to say. Rory cracks the door open, holding a knife behind his back. Seeing your face, he steps away from the door to let you in. You're alive! Your mother grasps both your arms as though to make sure they're still firmly attached. <laughs> You're in one piece. Oh, thank the spirits. Are you both unscathed? We're fine. Two of those brutes came in here and pilfered the silverware, but they didn't harm us. Uh, okay, I can scold my brother here. It's good you offered no resistance, they knew how to fight, or I'm sorry, I should have been here to protect you. Uh, I'm not really sure my brother could have actually done something. I don't really want to destroy his, um, his self-confidence even more. And from what we've gathered so far from our interactions with him, the brothers seem to have... A good relationship so I'm just gonna try to stay in character and be nice to him here um, I'm just gonna take it on myself I'm sorry I should have been here to protect you Rorik shakes his head and drops his knife on the floor in disgust you wouldn't have had to if I were a stronger man your mother puts a hand on Rorik's shoulder and he places her hand on hers don't trouble yourself tell me what happened outside is everyone safe we beat the raiders and we captured their leader. <laughs> Asta that pulls you into a warm embrace. I'm so proud of you. You truly are your father's son. Something is amiss. Why were the beacons not lit in warning? And the timing is so very convenient for our enemies. Nephew, perhaps we should talk to the giant. Now that he's at our mercy. He led them here. He must be able to tell us why. Asta 
See what you can find out. I have Rurik here to help me clean up the mess. Uh, let's just talk to our brother. Maybe help him with his self-confidence. I can't. Shame. Okay, well, I guess I gotta end it here. We gotta um, go after the plot think thickens in the next episode for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you aren't already, I hope you join me next time for um, finding out who is actually behind these attacks. Uh, hope I see you then. Thanks and bye bye.